My brothers and sisters, we're so glad that you could join us here today as we celebrate these Easter, these Easter celebrations. We thank you for joining us and taking the time, especially the parishioners of St. Alexander, St. James, St. Joseph, and Danamora, and Assumption in Redford. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these Easter sacraments, let us pause for a moment as we call to mind our sins and we ask once again for God's loving mercy. Lord Jesus, through your resurrection, you freed us from our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, through your resurrection, you free us from the power of death. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, through your resurrection, you enable us to live in the freedom of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Glory to 
Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, 
who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and the words of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
Christians all their voices raise and offer Easter hymns of praise as on the Paschal Lamb they gaze. Oh, praise the Lamb, Christ's endless Lamb from heaven above, saved all creation, sin removed, restored us to the Father's love. Oh, praise the Lamb. When death to life in fearsome strange gives way as Christ his life regains, the Prince of Life immortal reigns. Oh, praise the Lamb. What saw you, Mary, on the way? I saw the tomb where Jesus lay. His glory bright in us this day. Oh, praise the Lamb. I saw the angels and it the witness they did volunteer. The winding claws were also near. Oh, praise the Lamb. Christ now appears before his own in Galilee where he is known. Hopes are fulfilled, his wounds are shown. Oh, praise the Lamb. We know that Christ now lives indeed. Victorious King, we humbly plead. For mercy in our every Oh, praise the Lamb. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give us the Lord. May the Lord be in your mind, your heart, and your lips as you go forth to where we proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, 
He went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with his burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also saw the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had arrived from the dead. The Gospel Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. It seems so strange that on a day that is meant to be so joy-filled that we stand here in an empty church. It seems so strange not to have celebrated the Easter Vigil, not to celebrate those who have been baptized last night and those who should have received the Easter sacraments. It seems so strange, better yet, it seems so sad not to be gathered with you, the faithful of our parishes, of St. Joseph's, of Assumption, St. James, and St. Alexander's. It will seem so strange, even sad, not to be able to share a meal with our family and friends on this Easter day. It would be easy to allow this terrible pandemic to rob us of our Easter joy. More than ever, we need to resist that temptation of giving in to the despair or the sadness or the emptiness we feel this Easter morning. Pope Benedict once said, the remedy to the emptiness of life Just think for a moment how terribly empty How somber, how sad the Blessed Mother, the Apostles, those holy men and women who at dawn ran to the tomb that first Easter morning. Just imagine how empty they must have felt because the one they loved was dead and buried in a tomb. Never before had their lives been so full. Never before had their lives had so much meaning. Never before had their lives had so much purpose, so much direction, so much fulfillment than when they were with Jesus, the friend. They found in him to be their way. In him they found the truth. And today they found life. On that Good Friday, 
their hopes and their dreams were shattered, their hearts broken and left empty. But when they approached this, when they approached that tomb on that first Easter morning, in an instant, the emptiness within them was gone. The angels proclaimed the good news that Jesus was risen, just as he said he would. And that good news is still proclaimed today, even though our churches are empty. Throughout our country and our world, through media and other forms of television, the good news is still proclaimed that Jesus is risen. The emptiness that we feel can be taken away in that empty tomb. Even today, as on that first Easter morning, our despair can give way to hope. Our sadness can give way to joy. And our tears can give way to rejoicing. In that empty tomb in Jerusalem, we all find new life. What can rob us of that joy? St. Paul tells us nothing can rob us of that, not even death itself. Nor can this coronavirus rob us of the joy that we find in Christ Jesus this Easter day. Though we are parted, we're never alone. Jesus tells us that he's with us till the end of time. He made that possible when he offered himself on Holy Thursday on the sacrifice of the cross, giving us his very love, his very self in the Eucharist. His way of staying with us. He's here in our community even though we cannot receive him, we drive by the church and we acknowledge that his presence is there, living among us, waiting for that day when we all can come together so that in the breaking of the bread we can recognize him when we come together, when we see him in each other. Yes, Today we have good news to share. Jesus is risen. This pandemic doesn't have to rob us of our joy. I invite you to share that good news with others today. More than ever, we're more connected through internet and email and texting and, and through television. I invite you today to use your cell phones for something really good, to use your email as a powerful weapon to share the good news with others. Reach out to them, wish them a happy Easter. Everybody on your text list, everybody on your email list, and even beyond. Text those you normally don't text. Email those that you normally don't email. Phone those you know that don't have either. Wish them a happy Easter. Let them know that they're being thought of and that they are loved. This is our way of reaching out to you today to let you know the parishioners of our parishes that Father Gordon, Father Jay, Deacon Mike are wishing you a happy Easter. You're in our thoughts and our prayers, and you are loved. 
from our hearts to yours, we wish you and your family a joy-filled Easter. Jesus is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, on this Easter day, let us respond to our renewal of baptismal promises with a resounding I do to each one of the invocations. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. I do. do you renounce the Lord of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, bestow on us forgiveness of sins, keep us by his prayer, grace, in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Our Savior, Jesus, is risen and now reigns eternally. Alleluia. With hearts filled with joy, let us offer our prayer to the risen Lord. Alleluia. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may radiate the light of Christ risen each day and confidently live as daughters and sons of God, we pray. This is Lord, hear our prayer. For all trust in the leading the nations of the world, that the peace of the risen Lord Jesus will reign in their minds and hearts, we pray. This is Lord, hear our prayer. For those who were to be baptized, 
and those who were to receive the Easter sacraments last night at the Easter Vigil, especially Kennedy Bitter and Madison I, Tristan White, Heather Bellinger, Joshua Turner, Jessica Plimpton, and Amanda Plimpton. This community of faith holds you in prayer for that day when we will all be able to come together and celebrate those sacraments with you. And until that day, we pray. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the human family, that Christ will deliver us from the coronavirus, restore to health all who are ill, guide all who are searching for treatments for the disease, and for an end to the pandemic, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work in health care, public safety, and other essential services, that God will protect them and their families as they serve the greater good, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are confined to their homes and for those who cannot be with family this Easter, that God will protect them, renew their spirits, and give them strength, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That the eternal Easter of heaven may be shared by all who have died. Especially Edward Siscavage and Don Sanchez. For all our deceased relatives and friends, and for those who have died from COVID-19, for whom we remember in a special way at this liturgy, we pray. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, the resurrection of your Son, Jesus, offers the promise of eternal life to all who believe. They are lives of service and love inspire many to turn to you and be saved. For we ask this in the name of Jesus, the risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And hallelujah. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He King of
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it'll become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of <coughs> your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy <coughs> Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all days, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Terry, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Lord Jesus Christ, 
and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clitus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Therefore, Lord, we graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family which we make to you, also for those who have been pleased to give the new birth of water and Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of their sins Order our days in your peace. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his sacred and holy venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more saying, once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, 
this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through the particip participation at this altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 <coughs> At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another safely Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, the risen Lord. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just one brief announcement. A reminder that church today will be open until 4 p.m. A wonderful opportunity you're about, about to stop by and say a quick prayer or light a candle. We ask that if you're driving by to take note of the beautiful display on the front of the church, hand painted by our youth minister, Renee, and the message that's out there, he is risen, Alleluia. A blessed Easter to all of our parishioners, and it lists all of our parishes. So if you're driving by, stop and take note. As we leave church this morning, we will be united with the churches throughout the diocese in ringing our bells, announcing to the world, Easter has come. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion, defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy Easter, everyone. Alleluia, Alleluia, let the whole anthem rise and the choirs of heaven chanted in the temple of the skies let the mountains skip with gladness and the joyful valleys ring with hosannas in the highest to our Savior and our King Alleluia, Alleluia, like the sun from out the way, he has risen up in triumph from the darkness of the grave. He's the splendor of the nations, he's the land of heaven.
Thank you. 